Hello friends, as part of Velocity Platform Essential Series, today we will be discussing more on Velocity Data Raptor Extract. So uh, today we will cover what is Data Raptor Extract, what are the advantages and limitations for Data Raptor Extract and uh, a few of the use cases. So my name is Suresh Munjari and welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn Velocity. If you are keen to learn more on Velocity related stuff, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. So what is Data Raptor Extract? So Data Raptor Extract is a mapping tool wherein it will help us to retrieve data or filter data from Salesforce object and its related object type. Right? So uh, this Data Raptor will help us to get the data from one or you know multiple objects. When we say multiple object, it has to be a related object. Right? So again, what advantage it brings? Uh, we have uh, multiple types of you know, uh, the input and output. It, su it supports a JSON, it supports a XML, and it supports a custom format. Right? Uh, when 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 we talk about the use cases, uh, let's say you know uh, if you want to fetch only you know. Uh, the account related data, you can use it. If you want to fetch a uh, account with its related object data, let's say account and a case object data uh, for a particular customer, you can do it. So if you, if you want to uh, fetch account case and uh, cases and contacts, and uh, you can do it. So right. So it help us to it help us to get the uh, as well as uh, it help us to get main object data as well as the related object data. Again, if you have uh, if you have extracted more number of data, what you can do is you can implement a pagination. So by using the offset and you can you can show that you know, the relevant data to the end custom. So what limitation are you know, uh, uh, the restrictions we have here is that like, you know, whenever you try to extract uh, related object data, we need to be uh, mindful about you know how many objects we are uh, dealing with. Right? So if you are having a three or more objects within you know uh, the data raptor, we may have uh, a performance issues. So what Salesforce recommend is that like you know uh, whenever you are dealing with uh, you know whenever you are creating a data raptor extract, so you should be restricting to the you know three objects or so. So what we'll do is we'll uh, jump into a Salesforce application and we'll create a data raptor extract and we will test it there. So I'm in Salesforce application now and I'm into a data raptor. Let's go ahead and create new data raptor extract. So uh, once this new model window open up, so we have to provide a DR name. Um, I'm giving us a data raptor, DR for data raptor and uh, we'll give a object name, account, extract. I'll give us a, a training. Demo 001. Uh, okay, so what we, we are dealing with extract one, so I'll, I'll keep it as an extract. And I will, uh, we have multiple formats, but I will use a JSON at this point. And I'm giving this name within description just for maintenance purpose, All right? So we are in this, uh, once we create a data of text, it will be showing up these all tabs and in extract, what we have to do is we have to provide the object from which we, we, are, we are pulling the data. So uh, we are trying to pull the data from account, so I'll select an account. Uh, this extract output path is um, a JSON node wherein you want to store you know, the output. So uh, here it will up show up here now. And uh, uh, this is the query parameter what I know uh, for what you are matching the queries, right? Let's say I want to I want to pull a record based on the ID, okay? So that uh, we can give it here. Here is like not uh, the uh, operators are Provide it, you know, uh, the most of the operators what we will get in SQL all, all, all there here. So what I'll do is I'll give a query param like account ID. So this will be my query param. Right? So uh, in the previous video, we have uh, we have went through this what what this all denotes, how we can use and all that. So what I'll directly uh, do is I will I'll jump into output and I'll configure the few of the fields. 
So uh, I want to pull account name and uh, type and few of the fields will pull it. Right. So name and I want to store under the account name. Right. Name. All right. Here is again, um, you know, uh, like few of the fields you want to give, you know, output data type, right? Like, let's say you have a date field and you want to uh, show that date field in MMDDYY, you can do that. If you have a currency or a Boolean, you can choose that. So, uh, out of box velocity provides all this type of. So, if it is, if you feel it is relevant to your uh, use case, you can choose. Other thing is that, you know, um, you can provide a default value as well. If if the field does not having that value, the if you provide a different value, that will that will get that value, right? Right. Uh, so uh, one more uh, thing is that if you want to disable this complete node, you can you can do that. So it will just create it out. Uh, I will select type, and I want to store it under account. Let's get account number. Right. So what we'll do is, uh, so uh, we will go into preview, right? And we'll provide, we will provide input, right? So here, well, the key will be, you know, whatever you provided the param here, right? So that we have to, uh, give it here and we need to pass the value. So for, for value, what we have given is we have selected account ID, right? So what we'll do is we'll, we'll um, get into Salesforce and we'll pro get one of the ID and then we can, uh, we can check the preview. Right. So uh, let me take one of the ID. Right. It has pulled type and name. What other parameter we have given there? Output, type, name, and account number. So it may not be having the account number. Let's cross check that. Right, uh, it does not have an account number. All right, so uh, this is how you can uh, you can build a data router extract, and there's another way. Uh, what we'll, we'll do is uh, let's let's go here and. Let's try it again. Right. So uh, the default value it will it will brings it up. Right. So now what we'll do is we'll we'll explore more on a quick match and uh, fetching or extracting our related object data. So let's go. Let's go ahead and create new data router. I'll name it as a dr account contact. Extract a training demo and uh, yeah, uh, so that extract based on the idea. All right. Now we'll provide this extract objects. We have account and I'll store it as a what path as account ID as account ID as a filter criteria. I'll give it as a equal. Uh, if you are using name and all, probably we can give as long contains like all that stuff. 
So as we are using ID, I will give it as uh, equal here. And I want to give a very parameter which will be used in our preview. I'll be used at this ID, right? So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, add one more uh, for related object. I'll go ahead and add a contact. Okay. And I'll be storing output path as a contact. Right. And uh, so whenever we are trying to fetch contact details from uh, by using account ID, what we'll be doing is the filter will be adding it as an account ID. So I'll choose that one. And uh, I'll also go here, it should come as an account ID. So we need to get you know, account ID from this JSON. Right? How I can get that account colon if you separate, do the fields are available right in this, you will be able to get that. Right. Now, uh, what I'll do is instead of going ahead and creating uh, manually, what I'll do is I will, I have uh, the expected JSON output and I will provide it here. So once you have your expected JSON, uh, JSON, so this is like, you know, this is how you want to get your output JSON. Right? So once you have it, uh, by, uh, you are need to provide an expected JSON output and you need to provide a, a click on the quick match. Once you do a quick match, it will show the input mapping and output mapping. This is our, uh, this is it, getting it from the JSON, right? So if you look at this, right? so just go ahead and hit the auto match. So if you uh, see this, few, few fields are auto match and few, few are not. Because if you search this name here, it will be account colon name. But what we are expecting is account under that account name. Similarly, uh, for type as well. So this way you can create a data raptor using auto match functionality. So now what we have to do is we have to uh, configure we have to configure the account ID. So what will be the my parameter here is the account ID. And I can get the ID. Right. So uh, let's try ahead and go with probably Acme. We might have contact details as well. Right. Okay. So it has um, contact details like uh, Jeff and all that stuff. Right. So this is this way you can create create a data extract using a quick match and uh, you, you can uh, get a data like you know, the related object data. So if you, if you have, let's say a case, you can go and build it here. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos related to velocity, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.